Hi everyone, before to start I want to say that this video is dedicated exclusively for people with experience in the lab, fellow scientists, technicians and students. I have received many messages asking me for more details and more information about um, protocols to produce uh, spores. This mainly because of this publication which we published with my colleagues at Wageningen University. The methods in this paper were standardized for banana, but they have the potential to be transferred to another pathosystems. In this article, I also tested different Fusarium species, uh, other different form specialists, and even different physics, and it works very well. The paper, which you can find in the information box, is the compilation of all the protocols that I use and standardize during my PhD at Wageningen University. These protocols allow me to inoculate not only hundreds but thousands of plants simultaneously and also not only with one but many different species of fusarium. And this paper includes production of spores, the inoculation methods and the interpretation of the results which we call phenotyping. The methods described in this article are very simple, efficient, very cheap. In this video, we are going to focus only in the first part, the production of spores, counting and dilution. The rest we are going to cover in another video in the future. So without further words, let's get to work. So what do we need? First of all, and maybe most important ingredient, the mung beans, these little green beans that are also known as golden beans and are very common in Indonesia and in many other parts of the world. You can find it in almost every supermarket and they work very well as the base for the broad media for exploration. We also gonna need uh, early measures of one liter and water and that's it. Oh, you're also going to need a fresh plate with your favorite fusari. So we are going to weigh 2 grams of mung beans. The ratio is 2 grams of mung beans, half a liter of water. We put our water here, we add the mung beans, and then we cover with cotton plugs. And then we bring this to the autoclave. Here you can also use uh, the time and the space to autoclave uh, materials that, you can, that we are going to use later, like, like for example, this cloth that you can use to filter this material. Many tic tacs later. Once it is a room temperature of uh, a temperature of around of around 30 degrees, we will proceed to inoculate this medium. Later. We are going to do this under the flow cabinet, which we have previously cleaned very well. very important to remember that at this point you don't really need to filter but we are going to do it later well we open our petri dish and prepare all the necessary materials we uncap our bottles in this case you are gonna need a small core board or a scalp a scalpel I prefer to use the scalpel at this point it's easier plugs with fusarium just like that. 5 to 10 plugs are enough. With this method you can prepare one bottle or many with one strain or many strains. This method is very efficient. With one bottle you can produce in average between 30 to 50 liters of inoculum in a concentration of 1 million spores per ml. Of course this is going to depend on many factors like for example the amount of plugs that you include, days that you are going to wait for the final product, the species of course etc. But in average is 30 to 50 liters per bottle. We clean very well and we bring our bottles to 
the shaker. Uh, the speed can be 120 to 100, 130 RPM, depending on the machine, and the, the temperature between 25 to 27 Celsius. It can be also max at 30 degrees. The next step. If you don't really need a large amount of spores or you don't have big plants like bananas, for example, one or two days is enough to obtain a good number of spores. However, between three to five days is recommended for a mass production of conidia. Day three, day four. Once we are ready with this, what we are going to do is to filter. For this, we use two layers of cheesecloth and we just wait. Once this is done, we do dilutions or take a sample for counting. I really recommend these slides. I will put the information below. It's very simple, are disposable. You need just a few seconds to do it. But this is my method and there are hundreds of methods. You have your own method for counting, so that's fine. But in this method, we use 10 microliters of our material and then we observe under the microscope. Usually, I prefer to make the pictures and count in my computer while drinking a cup of coffee. Some other people prefer to count under the microscope. Some other people prefer to make the pictures and count using a software like Photoshop and ImageJ. Once we have this, what you need to do is just make your own calculations based on the size of the pot, size of the plant, number of plants, etc. You make the illusions and you are ready to inoculate your plants. So that's it for today. I hope you like it and I hope it's very useful for you and see you in the next video. Bye bye.